Welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you how to install maps and vehicles on spin tires, the mods and all that. Um, I know there's a couple of videos out there but they're kind of outdated a little bit. So I'm going to quickly run through and show you how to do it from start to finish and everything should work fine. You shouldn't get any errors or anything as long as you follow these steps. So first thing you're going to do is in Steam um, you're going to right click on spin tires in your library go to properties go to uh, local files browse local files and then right up on the top here instead of going through all of this stuff here to get to spin tires just click on common right click on the spin tire folder and create shortcut and now you you want to put that on your desktop this way you have all your spin tire uh, files right here then it's easy to get to then you're going to want to make a, a another folder, map mods or mods or whatever you want to put in there. You can put your vehicles and stuff in there too. So basically, there are uh, two sites plus the Steam Workshop you can download uh, mods off of. Um, on this one here, OV, make sure you click on Full Game. If you have the full game, if you have the Legacy game, then click on Legacy. And then go to, you can get vehicles, repaints, tweaks, other sounds, maps. You can click on maps. Um, basically, you just click on the link. Um, it'll give you information about it. It'll give you a video. Some of them, um, most of them, will have screenshots of the map in there. You click download. Let it download. You're gonna have to have uh, WinRAR or something to unzip your folders. Um, another uh, site is uh, this one here, SpinTires.nl. Um, they have vehicles, they have maps, tweaks, and all that stuff in here. Um, so that's how you're going to download them. You download them and put them into your uh, mod folder. And then you are going to... Uh, let's just do one here. So when you extract it, let's, uh, let's go to the high desert one. So you're going to have a folder inside. So you want the media folder. And then you have all these folders here. So everything inside of these folders, you're going to put in your spin tires uh, shortcut. So you want to click, this is the media folder. Don't use the zip folder. You want to use the media folder only. And this does your levels, your vehicles, everything. Um, so yeah, you open your media. And then you go to classes. Now, on a fresh install, I don't know if you'll have classes and meshes and textures and stuff like that. I can't remember. Um, if you don't, just highlight them all, drag them and drop them into your Spin Tires media folder. But if you already have them, um, especially if you're installing more than one map, you have a bunch of mod maps or whatever, you can also just double click on them. Okay, so you're in uh, le uh, classes. Uh, I think that was grass, yeah. And then you just drag it and drop it in there, and then you do that for all the other folders, like the models you want to put in under models, right there. Drag and drop them in there, and then um, after that, you're all. Oh yeah, sorry. You're also gonna have to download uh, this clear cache because I know sometimes when you install the the levels or the vehicles, sometimes spin tires will just crash or it won't even load. So don't fret about that. Just download this clear cache here. I'll leave a link. All the links to these will be down below too, so you can go check them out. Um, very easy. Just uh, put it in your spin tires folder, right in the main folder. Uh, double click on it. It'll say delete uh, spin tires files. Just hit Y on your keyboard. Enter. Done. Press any key to continue. And you're done. And then that'll clear all your saved levels and clear all your caches and all that stuff in there, so you won't have a problem when you're running it. Um, now, on Spin Tire or on Steam, just click on Spin Tires in your library, click Browse Workshop, and then in here, uh, this is the easiest way to get vehicles. Um, it's very fast, very quick, very easy. Um, I usually click on Most Recent to see what's uh, new. Um, all you do is let's go with. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'll just show you. Okay, let's just go with this. So you just click on it. Um, some of them have uh, screenshots. Some of them have more than one screenshot. 
And all you do is you just click this subscribe button right here. You click that, and then once you uh, load up, here, we'll just do a demo here really quick. So it'll download at the bottom here. Once that is complete, there we go. Your uh, mod will be installed. So let's just open up Spin Tires, and I'll give you a quick example. Okay, so once it loads up, click play. Uh, it doesn't matter what track you go on. Um, already right up here, change vehicle. Scroll through. Look for the truck you just downloaded, which would be this one right here. There it is there. Click start new game. This is uh, after, of course, you've already uh, cleared cache. Turn this volume down here. And then your vehicle will be right there. So you just gotta go unlock it. Most of the time you don't have to unlock it, but sometimes it just spawns it over outside the garage. And that's all you do. There you go, there's the mod working. she is and uh, I also forgot to mention too when you do download a vehicle off of OV or spintires.nl um, you will just have to do the same thing with the maps just copy all the files from the folders into the into the folders in the media folder in spin tires And uh, so if you have whatever vehicle, see so you'll have billboards, uh, classes, sounds, and then all this, you'll just have to put right into your media folder here. So like these here, all these files on the outside, um, you can just put them right into here. You don't have to put them in any folder because they're not in, they're not in a folder. Uh, you know, billboards, trucks. You just go into billboards, trucks and you just copy those files into there and then uh, so basically after every time you install a mod I always just clear cache and then this way you have no problems and it should all work so there you have it thanks for watching please subscribe and please like if this helped you if it helped you share it with others and then this way you'll have no problems see you in the next video